Hello, this is a quick overview of the Tascam DR22WL that I bought uh, recently. Now, I purchased this for one particular reason, to supplement, or really to, to go with, my Sony A6000. I wouldn't say supplement it, it don't film, but to uh, support my Sony A6000. Now, this is a great little camera, and it's a great camera I take around with me because it's pretty compact. Um, and particularly with this uh, 18 to 55 uh, kit lens, it's actually a pretty good kit lens. It's not bad at all. Um, but the big downside, as I said in one of my previous reviews, is the audio on this sucks. Um, it's auto gain control only. There's no mic input and there's no headphone jack. So um, you're completely knackered, really, as far as getting decent audio with this particular camera. But the video quality is superb. Um, so... I thought, what can I do to go with that? So I decided to purchase the Tascam DR22WL. Um, I have got the Zoom H4M, but it's a bit bulky. It's really much thicker and bulkier. This is really compact. And there's many reasons why I went for this one after the research that I'd done. Um, I've added a little connection on the bottom here, just a hot shoe adapter, well, cold shoe adapter. So if I really wanted to, I can slot it on here. like so then use that as a as a microphone now i can't connect this to the camera so what i do is record the audio separately onto the let's get this out of here come on i record the audio separately onto the tascam uh, it takes a micro sd card in the side here and then in post edit i use final cut pro 10 and in post edit i just sync the two together now when i've done my review on the dji osmo mobile this uh device here i um let's turn that on i use this because again getting audio into the iphone is a bit of a pain and particularly when it's when it's on the gimbal because you can't do it so this works great with this and with that so i record the audio separately you'll see how i did that not how i did it but you'll see the results uh, on the dji osmo mobile review um, i'll show you a clip here hello welcome to my review of the dji osmo mobile it's a gimbal for mobile phones I'm using it with the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, the iPhone 7 Plus is actually a large phone, so the gimbal... You know. So that was a short clip of um, the quality of the audio that this produces. Now, effectively... Oops, whoa, it didn't like that. Let's turn that off. Okay, so effectively... Uh, this has got built-in microphones, and that's why you can put it on the top there. It's got all the manual audio controls, um, many other functions that I would never use, but it has got many other functions, and they're not, I'm not going to go into detail on any of them, to be honest, but I purely set it to M for manual. Um, set it M for manual. You've got your audio level controls that come up on the display, which is absolutely uh, super. Uh, microphone input which is what I um, used on the, the review with the uh, DJI Osmo. Uh, that just plugs into there. So you've got an external microphone you can plug in, a um, bit like the tie clip mic that I'm using now, and you've got a headphone jack. So you've got all the audio, and it's manual, so you don't get the gain going up and down, up and down. So you've got all the controls that you need, and it's really compact and extremely light for carrying around in your kit bag. Um, and that's another reason why I purchased it, because I did like the uh, form factor of it. I did like its compact size. Um, the microphones have got an, the XY sync uh, uh, um, set up, so it's fairly directional. So you can put it on top of a camera and get a fairly directional sound. Um, I probably won't use that, but actually when you do though, the nifty thing is when it's on the camera, and another reason why I purchased this particular one, the volume control or, or level control for recording the audio is on the back what a great design that is i'm really i'm really chuffed with tascam for that there's no fiddly buttons it's a big control so if you can imagine that being on top of any camera um, but on top of that camera there you've got immediate access to the level controls 
Admittedly, the level uh, visual gauge is on the top here, but that's no big deal with your headphones anyway, you know. So um, that's my initial review. The battery standard AA batteries, they last forever, so you don't have to worry about it running out of batteries. So that's uh, really handy. Um, I do connect it directly to the computer via USB lead. I don't bother taking out the micro SD card. I mean, it is just in the side there, but I don't bother uh, taking that out. I just connect it directly to the computer, copy the files over, and then sync them in edit, which um, works, works great for me. It has got Wi-Fi. I really can't see why I would want to use that, and that's not why I purchased it. Um, whether that's a gimmick or whether other people do use Wi-Fi, who knows. But um, there we go. That's my initial thoughts of the uh, Tascam uh, DR22WL. I love it. It keeps stays in my Sony kit bag. I don't keep it with me JVC kit bag um, or me Panasonic because that records to the camera quite happily. You don't need an external recorder with those two cameras, but you do essentially need it with a Sony. Um, I would say the Sony is a great camera, mind you. I, I really enjoy it. It isn't 4K. I would have to go for the A6300 or 6500, but I won't do that. Um, for a number of reasons, but uh, it doesn't benefit me. But um, for the Sony and for the DJI Osmo, um, fantastic accessory, fantastic, way, fantastic piece of kit. I really do hope you enjoy my reviews. Please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you like my reviews. It makes it much more worthwhile me doing these. Um, and just to let you know, I do purchase all the kit that you see in my reviews. I don't get sent, to, uh, sent the kit by manufacturers or retailers. I purchase all of it. Uh, so there's no biases. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. And I say that um, and I'll just sell it on. But um, here we go. That's my review of uh, Tascam DR22WL. Thanks very much for watching. See you at the next one. Bye for now.